The White Snake. Long, long ago, lived a noble king, great ruler of hearts, loved by everyone. Someone who knew magically everything that happens in the kingdom. Every night after dinner, he is served a dish alone by his trusted servant. Not even the servant knows what the dish is. One day, he decided to find out. He opened the dish and saw a white snake killed and cooked as the dish. He picks up a piece and eats it. Then he hears chattering outside the windows. He hears sparrows talk about the queen's lost ring, which the duck by the pond ate. He catches the duck and gets the ring by killing it, and hands the ring to the queen. The king asks him for his reward. Your Majesty, all I want is a horse and some traveling money. I want to travel some distance and see the world. Now having the power to listen to animals, the servant happily rode the jungle. When he came across three helpless fish by the weeds. Oh, what bad luck we have to die like this helplessly! The kind-hearted servant picks up the fish and put them in the water. We will remember you and repay you for your kindness. The servant continues his ride along the pathway. When he hears the shout of a man, he sees it's an ant king outside an ant hill on the pathway. Why cannot folks with their clumsy beasts keep off our bodies? That stupid horse with his heavy hooves has been treading down my people without mercy. We will remember you. One good turn deserves another. The turn led the servant into the deep forest. <laughs> Where he comes across two old ravens who throw away their young ones to fend for themselves. The young ones cry out in fear, helplessly flapping their wings. Oh, what helpless chicks we are! We must shift for ourselves, and yet we cannot fly. What can we do but lie here and starve? The servant gets down from the horse and strikes it down with his sword. The three ravens come hopping and satisfy their hunger, and look up to the servant. We will remember you. One good turn deserves another. He reaches a large city where the king's rider makes an announcement to the crowd. The king's daughter wants a husband, but whoever seeks her hand must perform a hard task. And if he does not succeed, he will forfeit his life. The servant heads to the palace gardens and sees the daughter and falls in love. He goes to the king and announces that he wants to marry his daughter. The servant is put on a boat and taken to the middle of the sea. The king accompanies in a larger boat. The king then throws his ring into the water and lays out the challenge. If you come up from the water without the ring, you will be thrown in again and again until you perish in the waves. A shocked and helpless servant stands helplessly looking into the water. When the three fish come to the surface and put a shell at his feet, they smile and leave as the servant opens the shell to find the ring. He happily takes it to the king. However, the princess is angry and calls for another task to be completed before she agrees to marry the servant. The angry princess takes the servant to the garden, where she spreads ten sacks of millet grains all over as the night falls. Tomorrow morning before sunrise, these must be picked up, and not a single grain be wanting. Lost and hopeless, the servant gives up and sits among the grains and closes his eyes as the night passes and the days rise. He opens his eyes to the sight of ten full sacks of millet, with thousands of ants present, led by the smiling ant king. Happily, he sees the princess arrive, who is shocked but still not satisfied. The princess, however. Still could not soften her heart. 
there is one more task you must complete so that I may marry you. Yes, my lady. Your wish is my command. You shall get me a golden apple from the Tree of Life. The stunned servant leaves the kingdom on a quest to find the golden apple. He travels for days aimlessly as he does not know where is the Tree of Life. He grows tired. His shoes give way. He decides to rest under a tree and closes his eyes. On opening them, he finds the three ravens sitting on his knees with a golden apple on his stomach. We are the three young ravens whom you saved from starving. When we had grown big and heard that you were seeking the golden apple, we flew over the sea to the end of the world where the tree of life stands and have brought you the apple. With happiness, he takes the apple back to the princess, whose heart melts on seeing this apple. She cuts it into two, and they both eat it. They get married and live happily ever after. <laughs>